December 26 at Duddle's Fur Company outside of Steinsville, Indiana. Everybody's inside right now. Let's go check them out. Mm -hmm. What? Brown bear, it is it? By golly, you are rock. Right. Even when they're fresh. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they smell a lot like a skunk. Uh, hey, Here a guy's bringing in a, uh, a great fox. There's a guy carrying a great fox in over here. He might get yeah. a picture of him. He's inclined to have his picture taken, though. Make any difference? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. He, he'll take his hand off and comb his hair. Oh, I might even take my glasses off. Yeah, land <laughs> part of this is is photographing the people that aren't used to it yeah November <laughs> is that because of the, the uh, trapping season or something yeah your, and your fur isn't any good till it wraps oh about the 10th of November it just starts getting pretty good so when do you stop doing it the season goes out uh, January 31st then what do you do with your time the rest of the year Go to Florida fish. Does an operation, you know, in Indiana, what, uh, I mean, do you guys have to have some kind of a license or something to yeah. operate? Or? I got to have a fur buyer's license. Okay. Definitely Does anybody ever come to check on, uh, you know, what, like, uh, I don't know, you know, what volume you, you know, how, how much stuff comes in here? No, or? I, have to, I have to turn that in at the end of the year to the conservation oh. department. I see, okay. And, uh, uh, I, I buy a fur and have a lot of conservation officers in here. They never come in just to check me. Yeah. They, uh, see there, he's not got any coat left now. Uh, yeah. How many other people do this, like in Indiana or southern Indiana? There's about 200 buyers in the state of Indiana. And there's 8 or 10 right around here fairly close. Huh. Eight or ten. Yeah, don't get near there. Please. No. Well, there's a few coons left, I guess. <laughs> well, it looks like it, the <laughs> ranks ought to be depleted right. after a while. Right. Are, you, are you a Martin? Yeah.
much did that guy weigh? About 12 pounds. He's a good 38 inches long. Yeah. Eight and a half inches wide, didn't he? Yeah. About. He's just about as big as you'll get on. Bigger than that guy? We've got well, what are all those pen raised ones that you've got? They're bigger than that. Pen raised coons that you got? Uh, I had some big ones, yeah. yeah. We, got, we had them yeah. last year. Uh, George went up and picked up, what was it, 15 or 20 of them people. 19 or 20 of them. Yeah. 19 or 20 of them. Most of the pen raisins that I'm getting now, I'm turning loose back here. I see, I see. I got one right back there now. The scraping stuff yeah. wearing out. <laughs> Not too often. Not too often. A lot of people don't realize how many berries there is back in there. The berry he's using isn't sharp. You know that? It's a square blade. Is that right? Yeah. Can you show him the edge of your blade? It's not. It's square. Is it like the other one? Or is it Pretty well, so this one's a little sharper than his. But whoops, I think I'm looking at the big job of that. Do that rag right there. It's, uh, is this, your this is quite a bit sharper than his because I'm scraping the and he's scraping my shreds. Uh, Do you have to sharpen that? Once in a while, not too often. But when I was up there the last time here the other day, they were still pulling sugar beets like mad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they pull them things here all winter long. Yeah, load after load after load. And them sugar beet probably would eat them sugar beet. Them old sugar beet tops that never uh, melted down yet. They were still green. And they were eating a lot, all kinds of vegetables up there. Beans, navy beans, northern beans, uh, pickles, tomatoes. Now, was that a, that, that two or twelve? Both of these are heavies. Everything we're putting up right now is Michigan. Some of them big, some of them blood. Just like a that, That's just an ordinary Michigan food. Yeah, but now white that skin is. Yeah, it's prime. Real prime.